Hey everyone, this is Benjamin here from the African Geek and you, you are welcome to this fantastic tutorial inside of Canva. Today, what you see on my screen is something we are going to be creating in Canva. And yes, I used Canva, not Photoshop, to make this. So if this is something you'd love to learn how to create, stay tuned and I will be right back after the intro. Alright, so the first thing I want to let you know is there is a link in the description box below that can help you get Canva Pro for free for 45 days or if you want to upgrade to Canva Pro, you know, you can also get a very cool discount today right now and um, this goes a long way to support this channel, you know, to be able to um, continually produce Canva related videos for you and look, you're not going to lose any money because um, this channel is dedicated at making Canva videos. So it would be good to have Canva Pro. Actually, I have enjoyed Canva Pro for the, you know, from, from the time I started using Canva Pro. I really enjoyed it and there's a difference. Initially, I didn't believe in using Canva Pro, but now that I use Canva Pro, honestly, there's a difference. So I want you to be able to get Canva Pro so that when we are designing, we can be designing together and you don't have to fall short, you know, at any point in the tutorial so let's dive into canva and let's start creating something beautiful today so the first thing we are going to do is to click on create a design okay and then um, you just have to come to 1080 by 1350 you know, as the custom size and i just finished making a tutorial on this so if you haven't seen it please go check it out after this video okay okay let me close it up so that it doesn't distract me okay so we have a, a blank canvas over here come to um where do we go to first okay so what we're going to do is we come into element okay and in element we are going to um change our color it looks like i don't even know where to start from honestly but don't worry i know what to do so now that we have a blank canvas the first thing we are going to do is to change the background color okay so come into colors and um, you can just choose a gray color okay so this gray color is cool then come to photos in photos come here and choose grunge no search for grunge don't choose grunge search for grunge so we have this one over here we can increase the size okay and we can also drop it down in fact let's just Maybe we place the background, then we reduce the transparency of it. You understand? Okay, so this is what we have at the moment. Then come to element. In element, we are going to scroll down to the frames option. Click on C or and in C or you just have to hey my English is is <laughs> is mixing up. I think I have to uninstall and reinstall my English. Okay, so scroll down and um, I'll also skip this part because you'd have to do a lot of scrolling down okay so you have to scroll down to the point where you find this so let me right click so you just have to search for creative frame you understand so let me just try it and see creative frame and um, it should be very easy for you to have it okay oh it looks like canva didn't um, stick to it well so you can see we have this but we don't have the frame but you know just have you just have to scroll down and um you'd be able to find it okay so now that we have this what we are going to do is to increase size of it we understand so we increase the size and um you know we can just position this one somewhere here okay nice one then we come to line and shapes click on the square make it bigger then we can rotate it to something like this make the color white okay and uh, let it be here like this okay so let me come into upload there's a car photo i have over here so what you can do is the link to this car would be in the description box below you can fetch it and um, upload it into canva or you can go to clipart.com and then um, search for car there are so many nice cars that would come up so you can just buy yourself a car actually it's for free you don't have to buy a car you have to just download any of them and um, upload them in canvas so you have these two options choose any of them you want okay so now that we have this car we just have to make it big and make sure it doesn't enter 
the photo frame okay okay so we make it let me just make it bigger more all right so you can see how this is looking at the moment then we come to um photos okay and in photos search for car interior okay okay so when you search for car interior we have this cool one drop it in there okay and you can see how it's looking very cool very very cool just to show the inner part of the car you understand so that's the idea so what we want to do next is that um from the image i showed you from the beginning you realize that the um the photo frame had some outlined um, bars some white outline so that's what we are going to do now and in this because um i couldn't get it right when i was practicing the first time i had to find an alternative way and that's what i'm going to show you it doesn't it's not difficult okay you just have to be patient and um, have it done okay so just press l for line okay and um, we come here do the weight make it take a little bit come to the style choose the first one okay then we are just going to arrange our line to match this okay so you can see it's longer than this so just you know creatively do this okay then you can duplicate the line and um, rotate it i think this way let it fit okay then you can also position it you know here like this okay so make sure the rotation is correct okay okay then you can use your arrow key to move the things down so now that you have done this you don't have to be adding more lines what you can do is to be just duplicating so i can duplicate this position here duplicate this one position it here okay duplicate this position it here okay duplicate this one and also position this one here okay then we use our arrow key to move things and um, duplicate this one also and move it here okay so bring the car to the front position and um, to front and i would lock the car okay because i don't want to move it around and uh, we would also lock this shape behind okay so select all of this okay the frame and these lines we've done group them also and you can lock them you understand so this is how it's looking very terrible behind you know so i'll unlock my car and bring my car to the front select my ship you know the white ship i have at the bottom here and also bring it to the front so that you know it gets to look like this so this is a cool thing we have been able to create but we are not done yet we now have to add our information so i choose montserrat but add the text okay then i just search for montserrat m-o-n-t okay then um, the shirt then the search results should bring up montserrat so select my text and i can say 10 times okay 10 times fast okay and 10 times speed i know it doesn't make sense but you know it doesn't have to make sense this is just a tutorial i'm not selling anyone a car <laughs> okay then i reduce the line space into it increase it more okay so this is what we have at the moment maybe let me make all of these caps so 10x and um, this one also 10x okay then i'll select this one it looks like i locked it okay so i'll unlock it and um, i'll maybe move it in here a little bit so that i can make this one more bigger okay let me move it to the top and i'll change the color to white okay so this is what we have at the moment and i'll add the subtext so with the subtext i press t on my keyboard again oh it's not moving okay so let me undo come here duplicate the text and drop it down then we click on monster at classic that's what we choose for this one and i position it here and i can say ultra horse power okay power for 
more mouse you understand okay so i can reduce it more and i'll change the color to fit any of them here so you just make sure the color you're choosing you know is bright enough and um it's legible that's the thing make sure people can read whatever you are going to have okay so now we come to elements in element come to see or in c or just scroll down okay to just select this one rotate it to 90 degrees reduce the size okay and have it here let me increase this and let me have it here and you can duplicate it reduce this one to change the color to white you understand okay then we select the two and position it here then come to um, element and in element to search for is a petrol okay so you search for petrol and you can see so when you come to graphics so that we can find a nicer one okay so choose this one and uh, reduce the size to this position it inside and change the color to this okay so you can see what we've been able to create but we can also make it you know thicker mm. Nah, I think we should stick to this. This is way, way better. Okay. Then we will just duplicate this. Oh, my goodness. Okay. So come here, duplicate, bring it down here. And I'll say new um, to 2500 price. Okay. So, I mean, this is very cheap. Let's say for Christmas. <laughs> And we reduce the size to somewhere like this and we drop it here okay so then it means let's move this one away for now okay let's move this one away for now make it bigger position it here come to effect come to shadow come to black and we change the color to black and um, the transparency make it more but make it blur you understand then reduce this one also and reduce this one also center it select or move it here so this is what we have at the moment okay so you can see we are getting somewhere okay so now this is what we're going to do select and duplicate this drop it here okay then what we can do is we can also duplicate this make it longer and rotate okay and position it here make it smaller and place it here so we'll change the color of this to this okay and send it behind position it up here okay so select all of them select and move it down duplicate and also bring this down here select select up up okay so you can see what we have at the moment so we can come here and search for gear okay then, then we'll just add the gear and search for wheel okay then we can also add any wheel we want so um let's see okay let's choose this okay so now we just have to change colors to this and this one also has to be you know, the same color basically then we reduce it center it we do the same for this now the white part should be this okay then the black part should also be the same and we reduce the size and position it here all right so now that we have this we just have to add some extra text so I would I, I think there's a problem with with my canva so let me undo okay select this and duplicate and have it here change the color to white make it smaller okay position it here and um, I'll just leave this text as it is I wouldn't change it but you know you can change it because uh, you just have to change it right all right okay so and we reduce the text. Okay, so ultra for more. 
for more mouse and I would also do oh my goodness I would <laughs> choose this change the alignment click here duplicate it and come here okay so this is what we have and at the bottom we just want to add some social media icons so we duplicate this also bring it to the bottom reduce the size you understand have it here duplicate here and duplicate it again to two times okay then we just have to fix our social media icons in there so before that let's arrange them okay then we search for facebook then um, search for instagram and search for twitter hmm see where they all went to be okay nice one i thought it would be difficult to select them then we reduce the size increase reduce the size more position okay it looks like it's still big okay so select so select this and reduce the size of this position this inside position this inside and position position this one also inside okay then we change the color of this to white okay so let's duplicate this text and uh, move it down here and i can say at ultra okay ultra modus reduce the size and we position it here okay so then we select car logo okay because i want us to add a car logo i'll choose this one position it down here reduce the size okay and i can just say hmm. this is very interesting i don't know with ctrl c is now like centering my text okay i just put this here and change alignment then now you say ultra motors okay select it with this and move it to the top okay so this is what we have been able to create and i hope you found this tutorial helpful i'd love if you can share this video with other canva designers you can like you can comment the next design they want me to be able to make the name is benjamin and don't forget there's a link that can help you get canva pro for a very cool discount or even for free for you know a limited time and um yes the name is benjamin and always remember there is no limited creativity i would see you in my next video